morning everyone. I thought I'd show you some dorset buttons that I made recently. Um, the light is quite good today. Well, it's better than it was. Um, so, it's better to video. These dorset buttons, um, I saw a lady on YouTube, a couple of channels actually, just giving tutorials, short tutorials on how to make a dorset button. Dorset button is basically very plain round with uh, little spikes in the center but of course you can elaborate on that and make them your own so uh, I got quite intrigued I think years back I did attempt to do a dorset button and I know I wasn't very impressed with what I did and uh, I never picked uh, a needle up again to make any but having seen these recently and seeing the ones with uh, little trees in the centre, I thought well, that was quite sweet. I thought, well, have a have another shot at it. And once you start making one, you'll find that uh, it gets pretty addictive. Uh, once you've mastered how to make a neat centre of those spokes, I found that the most difficult part. This was the first one that I did. wasn't too pleased with it because uh, the spokes aren't even. There are a couple that are a little bit wider. So not happy with that. But as it was a first and a practice run, um, I thought I'll keep it there. It's a first attempt. So uh, that's just a selection of what I've done. On this one with the trees, I've um, sort of put in French knots for the flowers. I'll put a little size 15 beads, put a beaded edge on it, as opposed to an edging in a blanket stitch with DMC thread. Uh, I think this this craft goes back to I think it's around about 1760. Um, obviously, no buttons were available, so you had to make them. And the ladies, well, and men as well, but they would sit at home and make so many a day. I think I read somewhere that they could make a couple of hundred buttons in a day. <laughs> That would be daunting. to do you do well to do a couple. But it's something different to tackle in between projects. Quite enjoyed doing it. And this one, this is a button I did quite a while ago. It's a, a, called an airshare button. And it's white work in the centre on top of a linen button. You make the button and then you cover it in uh, white work and I just added the beads around the edge. So that's my little take on dorset buttons. That one is a, I think it's a one and a half inch circle which uh, you cover in blanket stitch and then I did a smaller circle, a separate one and added it to the centre with a little row of seed beads around there. So some lovely tutorials are out, easy ones to follow if you wanted to have a go at that. Uh, now this is a twinchy. It's a twinchy for Woolly Steph. She's having a challenge at the moment. She just wants a two inch square piece of fabric or card. She's getting a lot of uh, paper crafters joining in hers. I don't think I've seen any fabric ones yet but um, that's a start. Um, I use this, it's a quite a common cameo that one, you can get that one from anywhere and I've edged that in Piotti stitch and um, a little edging in size 15 beads.
and I've put an edging of size 15 beads again all around the edge of the little velvet square. I hope you can pick that up. So I thought that was just something for you to have a look at, something a little bit different. And I'll be back again later, ladies. Thanks very much for looking in. Bye for now.